viruses are exceptionally simple and extremely small microorganisms they have a very simple structural organization the whole body of a virus consists of a molecule of nucleic acid that is wrapped in a protein coat so the whole body consists of only a protein coat and a molecule of nucleic acid for example here you can see different types of viruses and in this virus for example this is a protein coat this protein coat a single molecule of dna or rna is present if you see this virus in this virus there is a protein coat and inside the protein coat there are two or three segments of dna or rna similarly this is a bacteriophage in a bacteriophage a single molecule of dna or rna a single molecule of nucleic acid that is wrapped by this capsid which is called head and this is the tail so tail and head they are made up of proteins similarly here in this virus this is the protein coat which is also called capsid and inside the capsid there is a single molecule of nucleic acid so these are very simple type of organisms viruses can have either dna or rna as a genetic material but there is no any virus which have both the dna and rna so only dna is present or rna is present while in other organisms and in uh, even animals and human beings both the rna and dna are present the nucleic acid of virus can be single stranded or it can be double stranded whatever it is dna or rna it may be single stranded or double stranded there are viruses which have uh, the normal familiar double stranded dna molecule while some viruses have single stranded dna molecule which is not usual similarly some other viruses have double stranded rna which is again unusual but normally they also have a single stranded rna molecule so uh, there is a, a wide variety both rna and dna are present and these rna and dna may be single stranded or double stranded for example here in this uh, you can see this is uh, a virus it has a, a protein coat and it encloses a single stranded dna molecule so this pink one this is a single stranded linear molecule of dna while in this case in this case you can see this protein capsid it encloses many double stranded rna molecules so both these uh, viruses are unusual because they contain single stranded dna or a double stranded rna the viral nucleic acid can be linear or circular it may be a linear molecule of rna or dna or it may be circular some viruses may contain coiled rna the rna inside the capsid rna is present and this rna is coiled while in some viruses the nucleic acid is in several separate segments for example in this virus you can see a single molecule of rna is present and this rna is coiled rna so this is coiled molecule present inside the capsid similarly in this case which is influenza virus you can see there are several segments of nucleic acid present inside the capsid so different types of organizations are present in the viruses genetic organizations if we talk about the uh, percentage of nucleic acid in a, a virus particle that is percentage by weight as compared to protein the percentage of genetic material is highly variable for example in some viruses as in influenza virus 
the amount of genetic material as compared to the protein is only about 1% while in some other viruses like bacteriophages the percentage of uh, this nucleic acid may be up to 50% of the whole virus particle. Uh, so if we talk about the uh, amount present in the body of the uh, virus the total amount of nucleic acid varies from a few thousand nucleotides to as many as 250,000 nucleotides in a single molecule. 